everyone, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 35 of Pro Wrestling Stop 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown of the top 50 matches in Impact Wrestling history with match number 16 on our list, which is the Ultimate X match for the TNA X Division Championship between the champion Petey Williams and the challengers AJ Styles and Chris Sabin from the TNA Final Resolution 2005 event held on January the 16th of 2005. Uh, so this is the third Ultimate X match that has uh, garnered a spot on this list. Um, it is by far, in my opinion, the best Ultimate X match of all time. Um, it's got the big moves. It's got great drama. It's got fantastic chemistry. It had a solid little feud that brought us here. And you just put it all together and, and it's a, an excellent contest. Uh, with probably the one of the craziest bumps ever done in an Ultimate X match ever. Uh, in this match. So basically how we got to this point is uh, Petey Williams was the X Division Champion. Um, he had uh, defeated AJ Styles and Chris Sabin um, in back-to-back -back pay per views. Uh, so they sort of had a, a, had a little bit of a three-way feud going on at this point. Um, Williams was a member of Team Canada, so his matches were constantly riddled with interference from Scott Demore, uh, who was his manager, and his other stablemates in the Team Canada faction. Um, so that brought us to Ultimate X, where Petey would essentially have to defend the title against both Styles and Sabin in a match where he would need eyes in the back of his head to ensure um, that you know somebody wouldn't uh, wouldn't climb and grab the title while you know he was incapacitated or you know wrestling with a, another individual. Um, so they they carry that story into the opening of this match where Styles and and Sabin they team up and they you know take Petey apart and, and double team him pretty good at the start. Um, and something that they do very early on is AJ Styles, you know, crazy, crazy athletic. Uh, so he actually goes for a springboard to try to get up onto the Ultimate X wires, and he just misses. He gets close, but they establish that that would not be a means in which AJ would be able to, you know, pull down the title that he tried for. He couldn't get it. He got close, but it didn't work. Um, again, very early on, you know, Scott Zamora makes his presence felt. He's very smartly ejected from the match. He tries to stop Chris Sabin while he's climbing. So they get the manager out there and it shows that this is going to be, you know, a fair one-on-one-on-one -on -one -on -one contest. Um, again, just really smart stuff. You know, Petey Williams gets the sharpshooter on Chris Sabin, which is one of his signatures. Uh, AJ Styles, you know, tries to get the belt at that point, right? So anytime one of these guys saw an opportunity to win, they would take that, which I appreciate it. Um, they borrow a spot from the original Ultimate X match, uh, where Petey Williams hits a, a basically a doomsday hurricane Rana, you know, off of while he's hanging, you know, dangling from the ropes on to Chris Sabin off of AJ Styles' shoulders. This was a match that was done in the original Ultimate X match that didn't look so great. They hit it way cleaner here. It was a lot better. Uh, they also tease uh, AJ Styles hitting a Styles Clash off the, the Ultimate X uh, cables, which you know sounds ludicrous, but it's actually something that he hit on Frankie Kazarian uh, back in Ultimate X4, you know, which was one of the the final few uh, weekly pay-per-views that NWA TNA did in the summer of 2004, um, it just, which was just, just a wild, wild spot. So they, they tease that here, that AJ is going to hit it on Petey, uh, but Sabin is, uh, is able to, um, to break that up. Uh, they do a, a really cool spot where Petey's kind of hanging upside down from the cables, and AJ Styles goes for the phenomenal forearm. Um, again, you know, doing that springboard, but he misses because Petey sits up. Um, but again, this is all going to kind of tie in later in the match, but it shows again that, you know, AJ, although he wasn't able to grab the belt, you know, he would have been able to hit somebody that was dangling just a little further down had PD not have sat up. Uh, but you know, he, he's unable to capitalize from that and Williams, you know, falls off the cables. Uh, they do a, another cool spot where, you know, AJ Styles is, is climbing, you know, he's on the top rope and he's about to grab the cables. Chris Sabin's already on the cables and he uses him to kind of swing his body forward and hit a Hurricane Rana to AJ off the top rope. It was really cool. Um, and that brings us to the move that I kind of just refer to as the ultimate X bump. Uh, because like I said, it is, it is absolutely crazy. So while AJ Styles is dangling from the cables, Chris Sabin hits a springboard missile drop kick. And it causes AJ's body to, to rock backward, you know, from the force of the impact. He lets go of the cables, does a complete somersault, and crashes down onto his back. It is wild. It is an insane bump. 
how AJ Styles did not break his back off of it, I have no idea. Uh, this dude was a bump machine in this era, and this was maybe his all-time career best. And, and like I said, you know, the Ultimate X is a match that lends itself to so many amazing spots. This one, in my opinion, the greatest of all time. Uh, it's been used in countless, you know, Impact and TNA video packages through the years, and it is more than worthwhile. Um, so again, they go a little bit into the to some story details again coming to the end. AJ is, you know, climbing up the truss to try to get at the cables. P.D. Williams, he grabs and pulls AJ's arm through the truss. Um, and AJ kind of just dangles off his arm held in this structure. Um, it, again, looked, looked really good. Um, and now, you know, AJ Styles had a bad arm. Um, he gets a, a Styles, he, he pulls Saban off of the cables. He's trying to climb. And Saban kind of like lands into a, a triangle choke on, on AJ. So he kind of hulks Saban up and hits a one arm, you know, Styles clash while he's in the triangle choke. Which is something that we've seen AJ do, you know, a few times throughout his career. Notably to Brian Danielson at the main event Spectacles 2003 event in Ring of Honor. And also in AJ's match with Minoru Suzuki in the G1 Climax in New Japan. Um, so AJ hits that, but at this point his arm is completely ruined. Uh, he tries to, you know, shimmy across the cables and he, he falls. He just, his arm can't handle it. Um, and once that happens, he takes, again, this match is, is filled with, you know, all-timer bumps. He takes, again, in my opinion, the absolute best Canadian destroyer of all time from Petey Williams. He just eats the thing on his head. His body kind of just, you know, goes completely stiff, you know, while he takes it. And it looks incredible. And that leads us into our finish. So, you know, AJ's incapacitated. He's got the bad arm. It's been established. He's not going to be able to, to you know, shimmy himself across the cables. We have Saban and Petey Williams fighting for the belt. And we get a spot where both guys are, you know, hanging upside down. And they both grab the title at once. So we have Saban and we have Williams hanging from the wires, holding the title. And what does AJ Styles do? He can't use his the arm. He does a springboard. And this is that callback, right? We established he can't springboard high enough to grab the belt. But when Petey was dangling, he could springboard high enough to hit that phenomenal forearm. So he springs forward, grabs the title belt out of both of their grasps, brings it down to the mat with him, and is declared the new TNA X Division Champion in an absolutely phenomenal, no pun intended, finish. Uh, this match is so, so, so great. It is the best example ever of an Ultimate X. It's so good. You can watch it, of course, on Impact+. Plus. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50. And you can subscribe to the channel here on YouTube as well so that you never miss a video. Please join me again tomorrow as we continue, as always, to count down Pro Wrestling's Top 50. Top 50.